So for those of us that is actually developing using a Mac computer, you can also go ahead and test your app on an iOS simulator. Doing this is very straightforward as well. That if you properly set up your Flutter SDK, this wouldn't be an issue for you. All you just need to do is to go ahead and drop down on the device list. So this will go ahead and launch um, your iOS simulator. So my default simulator is iPhone 11 Pro. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to be ready for me to deploy my application. So our iOS simulator is ready to rock and roll. All we need to do will be to go ahead and select it, the device drop down list. And after that, we go ahead and click the play button. So as usual, this is going to take a couple of seconds or minutes to be ready, depending on how fast your computer is. All right, so our app is deploying. And bam, here we have our main page, just exactly the same thing we have on Android. So that's the beautiful thing about Flutter. You build once and you deploy it to both Android and iOS. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and try to test our app on physical devices. So this will be all for now. See you in the next lesson.